Good morning guys, it's Wednesday, April 17th, and I just decided to do a little two-day vlog because we are flying out very early this coming Friday morning on Good Friday for Easter weekend, and we are going to see my family in my hometown of Baltimore, Maryland. Now we usually do not go home to my hometown or travel for Easter. In fact, the past three years, we got married in the summer of 2015, and so then Easter of 2016, 2017, and 2018, we just spent here in Texas, and every single year after Easter has come and gone, I have said to Riley, I really wish that we had flown home so that I could see my side of the family for Easter, because Riley's family really doesn't do much for Easter, it's just not, it's a holiday that everyone celebrates, but in terms of festivities, they really don't do much, you know what I mean? But my family does like a, basically an all day thing. Um, we all go to church together in the morning with my extended family as well. And then we have like a big brunch and we spend the day together. When we were kids, we would do Easter egg hunts. And I just have really fond memories of being all together all day. And so every year for the past three years, I've said next year we will fly to, you know, home. I say home, it's my home, um, hometown. And we never have. So finally this year, it was sometime, I don't know, I think in January, I said, we're gonna actually do it this year. Riley was completely, he's wonderful about whenever, whenever I want to go and see my family with or without him, depending on his work schedule. He is like, buy the tickets, do what you need to do. Because I see his family and we see his family literally daily. We see almost every one of his family members like every day. We see them all the time. And of course, with my family being 30 hours away, it's a whole different story. And so he is always so, so supportive of whatever I need or want to do to be in touch and feel close to my family. He's game for. So anyway, he has off anyway on Good Friday. I don't think he has off on Easter Monday, but he's taking off. So we're just doing a four um, day and three night trip. We're really looking forward to it. So kind of preparing for that. This isn't going to be a packing vlog per se, although I will be hopefully getting some packing done in it. I just thought I would do, I know people really miss my weekly vlogs and um, I that was just something I had to cut out at least for a little while because they are, um, it's not that they're necessarily time consuming, but they're like brain consuming because I always have to be thinking about oh, I'm doing this, I should be filming it, I wanna be filming it, and it was like this crazy record in my head, and as I was working on taking a step back, that was one of the things that I identified that I had to cut out. So I thought I would do a very, very mini type of vlog like that, where it will just be kind of following me around, and it's not, you know, there's not one specific topic. So hopefully um, that makes some of you guys happy. Right now I'm in the car, I'm about to go grab a cup of coffee from Starbucks, which I'm always looking forward to. That's a special treat for me. And then I'm heading over to get my nails done, actually. Many of you know if you've been following along with my vlogs for a while, or even my blog before I was vlogging, one of the things that I love to do is to get a manicure and a pedicure before I go on a trip. It's like this weird, routine that I have um, that I really like to do. So the last time we went away was for Disney World in January and I painted my own nails if I remember correctly. So it's been a little while. Um, I think my nails actually look pretty good. Like usually they're a little mangled, but they're actually looking okay. Um, but they could use they could definitely use a little polish up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done and just have a fun little morning to myself. Um, and then when I get back home, I have a lot of Etsy work to do because I just launched some new tees in my Etsy shop. I just launched some airplane mode short sleeved tees. So I will put up on the screen, I launched what I'm calling the muted collection and the brights collection um, because basically, um, I wanted to offer a lot of colors and so I didn't want to have like nine colors on one listing so I just broke them up into all the bright colors and then all the more muted tones but those are going up and um those are up now and so I've had a lot of orders rolling in lots of conversations and questions so anyway I have a lot of work to do on that so that's the story we're flying home for Easter I'm gonna vlog for two days I'm going to get my nails done and I'm bringing you guys along with me so welcome to my vlog as always, whenever I wear this sweatshirt, people have a million questions. This is a North Texas, it says North Texas on it. I did not attend the University of North Texas, but my husband did and he um, loved it. I did not attend, but this is his sweatshirt and I wear it all the time. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go get some coffee, get my nails done and I will check in with you guys in a little while. All right, so I'm sitting here in the Starbucks drive so this is like the worst shot I've ever given you. But many of you know, because I was sharing it last year, that I stopped drinking caffeine completely because I realized how it was making me feel crazy and just really anxious. 
and it's helped so much. And people said, oh my gosh, I didn't know you could get decaf espresso drinks at Starbucks, and absolutely you can. You can ask for a mocha decaf, you can ask for a caramel macchiato decaf, you can ask for anything decaf, so just so you know. Hey guys, it's about 1.15 now. I just finished up getting my nails done. I got this, oh, how am I gonna show this? This kind of light pink, you could see. It's like a light pink. I thought it was pretty Eastery and um, perfect for the occasion of Easter, which is why I got them done. Um, I have to say though, that was the hottest mess nail appointment I have ever had in my life. It was, well, okay, so let's be fair. First of all, I love this nail salon and they opened about 18 months ago and ever since they opened, I think they're the best one in town and so I always come here whenever I'm getting my nails done. And the girl who did my, the nail tech who did my nails my fingernails did a great job. She was she she did an excellent job, and um, I think they look really nice. And then I went and got a pedicure, and um, the guy who did it was just really awful. I mean, there was the first time he did it, I asked for them to because I do this almost every time I get gel on my nails, and then on my toes I just get normal nail polish. But I ask if they can help me find a match, and I've done that eight times, and every time. They come over with me to you know the regular polish wall and they help me find a match close enough to my fingernail polish. Instead of doing that, the guy was trying to use the gel polish on my toes, but I didn't, I, he wasn't like curing it. He just like, sl like slapped it on there and then like put a top coat, but it was like all chunky and it was like, it, it looked horrible. And so I didn't say anything, but I was, go I was going to have to. So he ended up just like, he finished the whole thing and then he took it all off. He like got nail polish remover and took it all off and I'm sitting there and I just was, I hate confrontation in these situations. It is my worst nightmare. I hate it. I will overlook major things so that I don't have to be in com a confrontational situation because it just makes me feel so awkward. But this was a little bit more, this was past my limit of what I could handle because it looked awful. The nail, po it was like smeared all over my nails. So I said to him, I said, hey, um, and, but then he was taking it off anyway. But then he he was about to put it back on and I'm like, it, the problem is that it's not the right kind of polish. Excuse me, so I said, um, I, like I was tr trying to be so kind and polite. I was like, hi, I was like, do you, could I go pick a, a regular nail polish color? I said, it's okay if they don't match. It's okay if they don't match. And he said, um, well, if you want to, and I was like, yeah, I think I do want to. So I went over and picked just like a very classic um, hot pink. It was OPI, I think it might be called That's Pink or something like that, it's just like a very classic, like bright hot pink. Um, and I was great with that. And so I went over and I gave it to him, and then I feel like because he had made that mistake, he was trying to rush, and so then there was just this hot pink nail polish I mean, y'all, it was it was like he went he went from my big toe to my pinky toe like this with the brush. It was like everywhere. It was like almost comical. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> What's happening? Nail polish everywhere. It was like chunky. It was like on the towel below. It was like in between my toes. I was like, oh my gosh. And then he put on a matte top coat, which I wanted a shiny top coat. I never asked for a matte top coat, and I've never ever in my life ever had anyone do that. And so then I was just like, what is happening? What is happening? And I was just I was getting so stressed out and then he was like thank you and he left and it looked I mean it was like so bad like sometimes you know in any situation like this like I said if it's like a little bit bad and I feel like I can kind of fix it I'm I know that a lot of people are like you need to stand up for yourself you're paying for it I hate confrontation so I will overlook it and just deal with it later but this was beyond this was like I would have had to go home instantly and take all the nail polish off and it would have taken me a while because it was everywhere so he left and he like ran to the back of the building and so I turned to the nail tech who was working on the woman next to me and I said, hey, I'm so sorry, but do you think someone could come and redo my nails for me? They, they, I said, someone else. I said, this, this, the man that I've had is, is just not doing a good job because now this was the first time totally messed up, second time totally messed up. And so he comes running back out and I'm like, no, I don't want you. I don't want you. I want someone else. You're not doing a good job. I don't know what you're doing. And so um, he then he came out and he was like, you want me to redo it? And I, I said, yes, sir. Yeah, I do want you to redo it. I said, but um, I really want them. I, I was being really calm, but I, 
at this point I was I was in there for like so long I'm like I need to I have things to do today like I was not expecting this to take I picked the shortest pedicure like the cheapest shortest pedicure it's supposed to be about 20 minutes and we were on like minute 60 or 70 like it was taking forever because he kept redoing it and it still didn't look good and so anyway push comes to shove the end of the day he redid it it's not the best pedicure I've ever had in my life but it does look good I was annoyed that he redid it because I specifically said I would really like someone else to redo it and that didn't happen. <sighs> that was not a relaxing experience. The nails were relaxing. The pedicure, which is usually the most relaxing part, was highly unrelaxing. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm heading home. All right, I just swung by the grocery store because... Um we are supposed to have really bad storms tonight and because we're going away on Friday, I did a very light grocery shop this week and so we didn't have anything to eat for tonight and I figured we would just go out somewhere in town and get some takeout, but it's the storms are pretty severe, it looks like, so we're not going to be going out for takeout. So of course on my plan to eat account, I have all kinds of delicious recipes and so I'm making this one, I will link it below. It has Italian sausage in it and all kinds of yummy ingredients. So I'm gonna make the homemade sauce with the sausage and it will make um, quite a bit more than what the two of us will eat, but it will be perfect because we can freeze it so that when we get home from our trip, we'll have a meal when we get home, which will be great. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and work on and get simmering. Um, that way it can simmer for several hours and then when we're ready to eat later tonight, it'll be ready. So that's what I'm up to. I'm making some spaghetti. Um, some spaghetti meat sauce so that tonight while it's potentially storming definitely it's going to rain I'm not sure how much of the storms are going to hit us, but at least we will have um, We'll have something yummy and filling to eat and then this will be great for leftovers tomorrow as well um, Since we leave on Friday morning All right, here's this beautiful sauce. It smells divine. Simmering away here on the stove, as I said, I will definitely leave a link to the recipe below. Super easy, and you could sub things in and out based on your family's preferences and tastes. But it looks really good. So the recipe calls for it, well, the recipe says you can pretty much simmer it as long as you want. You just add a little bit of extra water if you're planning on simmering it for longer. I plan on simmering it for just about an hour or 90 minutes, but mm. It is looking delicious. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. All right, here's dinner all finished. Some French bread and some spaghetti with lots of the meat sauce. I'm really hungry, so I gave myself a pretty big portion. This probably would have been great with like a side salad, but I didn't think I had that far. So this is dinner tonight. Lots of yummy carbs to keep us full during this big storm that's supposed to blow through tonight. Hey guys, it is about nine o'clock and the storms have really started rolling in here that we've been expecting all day today. Um, we had originally a severe thunderstorm watch and now we have a severe thunderstorm warning and they are saying that we are gonna get some hail and possibly some golf ball sized hail. So we just went outside to see if it had started yet. Um, oh, it's wet. Oh, it's soaked over here. Oh my gosh. So we're expecting this crazy hail, um, but we haven't started getting the hail yet. It's just still raining, thank goodness, but both of our cars are in the garage and you know, we're all, we're good to go if it does start hailing. I hope it doesn't though. Golf ball sized hail is like serious, serious business. But I wanted to show you, um, I had someone send me a message on Instagram and she said, there's no crazy weather where I live. Can you show the rain? Yes, I can show you the rain <laughs> on our back porch but um, only for a second because I'm not trying to get our carpet even wetter and get this camera ruined. So there you go. It's pretty, it's pretty stormy. Um, we're just thankful because originally when the, the storm was being predicted by the meteorologists earlier this week, they were saying that it looked like the line of storms was going to hold like 60 or more tornadoes in the line of storms. 
and they changed that forecast, thank goodness. So now it's just rain, wind, hail, that kind of thing. So I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> also that spaghetti sauce was delicious, wasn't it? So good. So now we're just like doing laundry. I think I'm gonna go get ready for bed in case we lose power, so I'm ready. If it starts hailing and I'm able to, I'll show y'all it because if you've never seen hail, it is wild. <laughs> it's wild to see giant ice balls falling from the sky. All right, I'm gonna get ready for bed before we potentially lose our power, which I hope we don't. Charlie, why don't you come say hi? That would make everybody so happy because everyone loves some Charlie Bear in the flocks. Charlie, what do you think about these thunderstorms? Huh? Come here, come here, come here. Say hi to everybody. Say I'm not really afraid of storms. I just kind of like to walk around. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's Friday now. All of the storms that blew through last night, they really weren't very bad at all here. I'm sure there are some other places that were worse. We didn't lose power, praise God, or anything like that, so I'm really, really thankful. But we were watching the news last night, and there were people who were had hail in their hands that they had sent in photos to the news station, and no kidding, there were, hail, there were a lot of hail balls that were the size of like a golf ball, and then there were some that were literally like the size of a tennis ball. I mean, huge, 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 huge hail. So it was a pretty wild storm, and it's moving way across the U.S., um, to the east toward the east coast so I bet a lot of you guys who are watching are probably have heard about this storm have gotten a part of this storm you'll have to tell me in the comments below um, it doesn't have like a name or anything like that but it's <laughs> the week before Easter this massive storm system that moved across the US you will know if you were a part of it anyway I have to go I am going to run and grab a breakfast with my friend Sarah this morning she and I met last fall at a Bible study in town and we have been friends since then. So it's always nice to go and hang out with friends on weekday mornings. Definitely a perk of working from home. So I'm going to go ahead and meet up with her and I'll catch you guys in a little while. Hey guys, I just got back from breakfast. It was lovely. So nice to get out of the house for an hour, an hour and a half and enjoy time with my friend Sarah. I am getting ready to pack here. I have my suitcase. I have my suitcase on my bed um, on a towel and then I started pulling out like some packing cubes and things like that. I just charged up my batteries. I'm not sure how much I'm vlogging. I might vlog Easter but I always like to bring all of my equipment just in case. And then this is my little tech. I like this little thing, this little tech case and um, it has all these bungee straps and these are my camera chargers and I can just put everything in here and then it's all in this nice little padded thing. This is from Amazon, I can link it below. Um, these are packing cubes from eBags and this is from eBags as well. I've talked about eBags tons and tons and tons and I have a video about the luggage that I, we have from them and I we both love them. While I am working on packing, I'm listening to this audiobook. This is called Boundaries by Dr. Henry Cloud and Dr. John Townsend. It is excellent if you have never heard of it or read it. I love it. I've read it two or three times and I am listening. This I think maybe is the second. Gosh, I don't remember. I've, I've read it quite a few times. I have the, the paperback version and now I'm listening to it. It is great. It is great. The reason, one reason why I really love this book is that it is from a biblical perspective. It's like about biblical godly boundaries and ways to draw lines around your life and learning, you know, what's in your yard, what do you need to water, what's in your backpack, what do you need to carry, and kind of um, empowering you to do that well and with love and kindness, but also with firmness. And I just, it really helps me. I'm definitely... I always joke that I'm like a recovering people pleaser and this is so so helpful. So I'll link it below. You can get there's a bunch there's like boundary there's a book called Boundaries in Marriage, Boundaries in Parenting, Boundaries in Dating. So lots of different options. This is just the classic one, but I'll link it in case you want to go check it out. You can go read the reviews and read a little bit more on Amazon if you're interested. But all right, it's time to get packing. Let's see. We don't the problem is and the issue is is that the weather is about to be let me flip you around. The weather while we're up there is 
all over the place. So one of the days it's gonna be sunny with like a high of 77, and then some of the days it's gonna be rainy, some days it's gonna be partly cloudy, it's gonna be chilly, it's gonna be, so I need to bring some different, a variety of different options. And the other thing is that I'm not sure exactly what we're going to be doing. Whenever I go home, I never really know exactly like where we're gonna be eating, if we're gonna be eating at home and we can just all be wearing, you know, lounge pants and pajamas or if we're going out to somewhere that's a nice restaurant or if we're going out to like a very low key restaurant. I just never ever know. I don't know if we're going to see family and um, planning outfits and things to go home can always be a little challenging. So what I usually do is I usually kind of just bring layers. Like I'll bring a couple pairs of jeans and um, like a couple of dresses and then some tank tops, t-shirts, long sleeve shirts and sweaters and things like that. And then I can just kind of mix and match. The good news is, is that my sister doesn't live at home. She lives with her husband, but she and I and my mom are all just about the same size. So if I don't have something that I need, I can just borrow it from them. Anyway, I'm gonna get to packing. Hopefully it doesn't take me too, too long. I wanna get it done because I have some other things that I want to get done today before we leave tomorrow at 6.30 a.m. All right, I'm finished packing. So I have some extra room up here to put a few more things and then once I'm done, I'll just strap it down. This is the mother load bag from, um, from eBags. Again, I have a video on it and I have a referral code that gives you 25% off, I think if you use it. So um, they run sales a lot. So if you stack a sale with that code, you can get these for a really good price. And I just love them because they're so versatile. I mean, you can totally jam pack them with so much stuff or you can do it a little bit lighter. Um, and then I always pull out our luggage scale. This one I got from Target, I mean, probably 10 years ago and I still use it. And um, that's the question that I get most often about these mother load bags. This is a hair this is not supposed to be there, um, is are, are you always going overweight with them? And the answer is no, we are not. The actual bag itself isn't that heavy. And now that we've had them for a couple of years and have used them for a lot of different things, we have a good idea of how much you can put in them and that kind of thing. So we have never had an issue with that. The other thing is that we do have this. Um, I'll link there. You can get these on Amazon really for... 10 or $12, something like that. So if you don't have a luggage scale, I really recommend getting one. You can also do the old trick of like weighing yourself and then getting the bag and then weighing, you know, you can do all that. But these are really great. You just turn it on and we'll go to zero. This has a strap, you strap it around the top and then you just lift it up and it will just beep and show you how many pounds your bag is so that you know. Most airlines you have to be under 50 pounds. And then over here, I went ahead and pulled out my outfit for tomorrow. I'm just wearing a white t-shirt and then like this is kind of like a drapey um, open cardigan and a pair of jeans. And then I just have my jewelry all laid out. I, you know, got that all laid out so that I'm ready. I don't need to wear it tonight. We're not doing anything. And then I am going to use this backpack that I've talked about ad nauseum. So I'm not going to talk about it. You can go watch a variety of videos and hear me talk about it. I will link it though below. Um, and I got mine from eBags, but you can get it from Amazon as well. Great little travel bag um, to use. So this is my little travel outfit for tomorrow. I always like to have that nice and, you know, put out and ready to go so that I remember what I'm wearing, especially since we usually do really early morning flights. Like tomorrow morning, our flight is at 6.30 a.m. and we live an hour from the airport, so we're gonna be up very, very early to get there on time. It's nice to have this done ahead of time. So I do have one more work thing to do. I didn't show, but this afternoon I spent a good hour getting my Etsy shop in a good place for me to leave. Because we're only gonna be gone for two full days, we're leaving on Friday morning and then we'll be gone for two full days and then we'll be back, you know, on Monday. Um, I'm not closing the shop because there's no, there's, I don't need to. We're basically only gone for the weekend, which is pretty normal anyway. Um, I d but I did want to get it all synced. So anyway, I'm rambling, but I got Etsy completely synced, which is great. And then the, I have one more work thing that I need to get done um, before we leave. So I do want to go ahead and work on that this afternoon and evening. But other than that, I'm like good to go, which is great because it's still pretty early. It's only three o'clock and everything else. I had a huge list today of things that I wanted to do. Everything else is checked off the list. Aside from that one work thing, the only other thing is taking Charlie over um, to my mother-in-law's house. 
um, and then we have someone who like house sits for us so I need to give her the rundown um, but aside from that like we're all we're all in the clear and good to go which is really exciting I'm really looking forward to this trip I think it'll be a really nice time to get away and go and spend some time with my family and the weather isn't looking better than I thought it was going to it's shaping up um, it was supposed to be pretty cold and rainy most of our trip while we were up there and now it's starting to get a little bit sunny so I'm hoping that that is that's what happens <laughs> anyway okay I'm gonna finish up cleaning up this bedroom because there's just like clothes all over the place and um, then I'm gonna go work on that work task and then I will be good to go wouldn't you know it hey guys it is just about 4 30 now I just wrapped up all of my work and everything else so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off on this little two-day vlog because I want to see if I can maybe edit it tonight if not then well, it won't matter. Whenever it goes up, it goes up. But I was I definitely want to offload the footage before we leave for our trip. Thanks so much for following along for the past couple of days. I hope you enjoy just kind of a random two-day, day in the life kind of thing as we were kind of, well, it wasn't really that normal of a day in the life, right? Because I'm trying to get ready for this trip. But whatever, kind of pre-trip hustle, day in the life type of thing. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did and leave me a comment below with what you're up to. Let me know if those storms that were rolling through here affected you wherever you live and if you have any Easter plans or just plans for the weekend, I would love to hear them. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.